Valencia sets himself the all-time Ecuador goal scorer. 35 career goals for his country. Looking for a 36th year. He runs up and easily places it by. Alshabe goes the wrong way. Valencia puts it in the corner. He scored three goals at the World Cup in 2014, Matt, and now he is opened up his account in the 2022 World Cup. It's Qatar nil, Ecuador 1 in the 17th minute. He'll run all the way across the penalty area to the right-hand side. Ball in, and it's headed in and in goal from Valencia. He's got a second. Ecuador double their lead. He came steaming in round the back. Nobody caught him. It was over the head of Estrada who missed it. And Valencia has doubled his total for the tournament. And Ecuador's in the game. Cat as England come into the area, it's Jude Bellingham! And England are off and running in the World Cup! What a moment! On his World Cup debut for Jude Bellingham, England hit the front. Shaw's delivery. In there, it falls to Saka! 2 0! What a finish from Bakoyo Saka! England are 2 0 up. Here's Jude Bellingham. Up to Harry Kane. Kane cross. Sterling, 3-0. Surely it's game over now. Raheem Sterling. Harry Kane, provider for Raheem Sterling. Saka into the penalty area. Saka trying to cut in. Saka curls. Saka shoots. Saka scores. England have a fourth. And Bakoyo Saka doubles his money. Marami's throw in. One, two, now it comes back with Marami. Now Norali. Marami. Now it is Golis Dea. Golis Dea, it's Mediterrami. And it ran half their first goal of the tournament. And it's their talisman, Mehdi Tarami. That's a lovely finish. It shows you when he gets any kind of a chance, he can put one in. Good finish by Tarami. And Iran are on the board. 65 minutes gone. England 4, Iran 1. And now here is Rashford. He's just come on. Good cut. Marcus Rashford. He's only been on the pitch a minute and he scored. England have 5. Marcus Rashford, the substitute, five-star England performance. Callum Wilson, a semi retreating off his line. Wilson tries to play in Jack Grealish, and England have walked in a six. Very unselfish for Callum Wilson. Two of the substitutes hook up. Six of the best for England. Notoriously slow starters at World Cups. Not this time. Ready for his run-up. It's Betty Taremi, and he slots it past Pickford. Keeper went right. The ball went left. De Jong, his cross. Header! Goal for Netherlands! It's Cody Gakpo in the 84th minute. Senegal nil. Netherlands won. Cody Gakpo has broken the deadlock. Players want final whistle. It has not come yet. Here comes the pie. The pie trying to seal it. The pie shoots. Saved by Mendy. Here comes Klassen. He seals it for Netherlands. Davy Klassen. The substitute for Netherlands has just put the cherry on top of the cake. Senegal nil. Netherlands two. And here come the United States on the attack. They're finding more and more space. Pulisic played it towards the middle of the area. And it's Weah with a shot and he scores! Timothy Weah makes it 1-0 United States! It is Weah! Here's Bale. Waiting for the referee's whistle. Which way will he go? There's the whistle. Bale the run up with a shot and he scores! Gareth Bale the equalizer for Wales in the 82nd minute! to break American hearts. 91 goals for this nation. He awaits the signal from the referee to run up. It's Lionel Messi. Make it 92. 
and make it number one for World Cup 2022. Cool as you like, right down the middle. Little messy with a penalty. It's taken Argentina less than 10 minutes to get their first goal this tournament. Saudi Arabia, though, the real chance. Here's a chance, and here is a Saudi equalizer. Salah Al Sherry. Unbelievable. Saudi Arabia with a jackrabbit start to the second half. Sally Al Sherry has his name up in lights. Has to play it in. Give it away very cheaply. Here's a shot from Alab. Alabad, the substitute, and it was deflected. Al Dasari. Still with Al Dasari. Al Dasari shoots! Oh, he scored! Saudi Arabia lead! Yeah, do a backflip, Salem! Salem Al Dasari! Oh, the World Cup never disappoints on the pitch! forward now the Australians really have a chance into surely it will be a goal for the Australians and it is going to be number 23 Godwin the winger it is going to be an early goal from the Australians they lead against the world champions in slightly controversial circumstances it was a wonderful square ball through to the far post and I'm afraid to say that Hernandez the left back is down on the far side but I don't but the corner comes in again it's not going to be particularly impressive filters all the way out uh, to the French who go back inside this time there's a header surely yes it will be a header and it's going to be Rabio who puts France back into the game back onto level terms it was a wonderful ball in and he's just able to head it over the head of the despairing Ryan and the Aussies dream is over as soon as it started really back and this time France have an opportunity it's going to be inside for Giroud and a tap in as well Giroud is going to put France ahead in almost as much time as they were behind it is going to be a simple simple tap in Ryan was caught napping the Australians were caught in defense and Giroud is going to stop the scare for the French he's able to find Rabio. Rabio distributing off to up Meccano, on to Hernandez. Hernandez looking inside for Mbappe. He's going to find Mbappe. Mbappe looks to the cutback. No one there at the back post apart from Dembele, who now still on the ball. Australia still not able to catch a break. Dembele looks for Griezmann as an option, perhaps inside for Mbappe. Mbappe gets the goal, finally. It's a header. It's his third shot of the evening. And finally, off of the head of Kylian Mbappe, the French are able to get the goal that sees them find a little bit of breathing room against the Australians, so their utter domination of the Mbappe, Mbappe able to go through. He's going to try and get past Atkinson once more. An individual battle that's been superb this evening. Into the box, Giroud is going to make it four, and it might be offside. It won't be offside. It is going to stand at least for the time being. It was again a quick break from the French, and they're going to get yet another goal. 4-1 is turning in to a little bit of a pummeling Four goals to one. The French now leads the world champions after an early scare getting the World Cup campaign off to a flying start. The whistle, there's the run up and the strike and a goal for Ilkay Gundogan and Germany has the opening goal. It's a deserved lead for Germany and it's Gundogan who buries it from the spot. He goes up the middle. Ganda tried to go to his left. Wasn't close to it. And in the 33rd minute, it's Germany 1 and Japan 0. Far side now and progressing forward is Matomo. Matoma gets it in and it's played towards goal save by Neuer. Rebound, Luce, score! Right out in front, it's put in by the substitute, Doan. And Japan do have their equalizer that they've been working towards for the entirety of the second half. As off the free kick, it's taken long up the right side, and Asano's in the penalty area with a chance on square goal. Takes a shot, and he scores! Japan with their second goal! They've turned it around! Takuma Asano has stunningly given Japan the lead on Germany! Asano, second goal for Japan!
Gavi again, and he's flicked it in towards the uh, penalty area, and here's Olmo wiggling away, and Danny Olmo has got Spain off the mark in this World Cup on 11 minutes, Spain's 100th World Cup goal, and it goes to Danny Olmo on 11 minutes. Out left towards Jordi Alba, who's got lots of space out here on this left-hand side, back into the penalty area, and it's 2-0, and it's Marco Asensio. Ten minutes since they scored the first one. And they've got another. 2 0 Spain. Here comes Ferran Torres. And it's free from the spot. Ferran Torres. Well, only half an hour played. And Ferran Torres has put Spain free up. Touchline here is Gavi. Pulled it back to the edge of the penalty area. And Torres wriggling through. And he's still going and has scored. He's got a second. Spain have got a fourth. He got a little bit lucky with a, a break of the ball off the defender, but Ferran Torres gets his second of the game. Flying through, and he's going to end up on the boot of Morata. Goalkeeper came and claimed it, sort of, pushed it to the edge of the penalty area. Morata's cross, and in comes Gavi! And it's five for Spain, and a record has been broken. Gavi becomes Spain's youngest and the youngest player to score at a World Cup. 18 years and 110 days. Oh, crossed in. Goalkeeper's dropped it. And it's another one. It's six. And it's Carlos Soler. Right on the stroke of 90 minutes. It's the magnificent six for Spain. And it's been a chance for a seventh here for Spain if they can work things. Morata edge of the penalty area. Lovely one-two with Olmo. And Morata gets it back and scores. It is seven for Spain. Goodness me. They have certainly made a mark on the opening day for their... Okay. Alterfraud looks long. He's going to go long, actually. And Batshuayi has a chance here. A real chance. He gets the goal. Coetator's curse strikes once again. And Michi Batshuayi is able to find the net in the World Cup. Belgium looking to extend their run of eight consecutive World Cup group stage victories. And they are going to do so. See what this second half will bring us. Here comes Switzerland on the attack. Shakiri, Ball's gone all the way over to the other side. And back into the penalty area. And Bolo! And Switzerland do take the lead. Two minutes into the second half. And then Bolo has got the goal for Switzerland. 1-0 to the European side. Much against the run of play. Aldo. Aldo. Kicking it in! We have our first goal of the match. 1-0. Portugal. Ah, with a real chance. Cross. Ew. In. 1-0. On 1-1. Ew. One, one. With the goal. Ladies and gentlemen. My goodness. Ghana has made this a game in the 72nd minute. What a goal. And there is a shot on goal. Felix with the goal, my goodness, Portugal, back on top, 77th minute, Portugal, they steal the ball back, Portugal up the middle, Silva kicks it over to, yes, there it is, another goal, that was incredible, that was Rafael Leu, and there it is, there was, oh my goodness, there's a, no, how about that? How about that? Incredible. Up in. My gosh, what a cross. A possibility to score here. Neymar lays it off. Venetius Jr., the shot, it's saved, and the rebound is in. And Brazil have the opening goal. It's Richarlison on the weak side, who's batted it in off the rebound. That has been coming for Brazil, and it's a deserved lead. For the Brazilians, channel, playing catch with Vinny Jr. Now Vinny Jr. moving forward, left of the area, centers the ball, Richarlison centered it down, what a goal! Incredible goal by Richarlison! That may be the goal of the tournament! He has fired that in with an unbelievable effort! Brazil go 2-0 ahead of Serbia, just as the scoreline was when they met in the group stage in Russia four years ago. In the box, the Iranian players are getting ready to celebrate something. Goal set on, it's a goal! Iran, a 1-0 up, finally! 
Kelly, he breaks the line of the Welsh defence in the 99th minute. It's a goal for Iran. And it was Tariq who gets it. Iran going for another goal. They're still going to do it. The ref's not blowing the whistle. It might end 2 0, you know. Straight up goal. And because it's 2 0. It's 2 0. In the 100th minute, Iran go 2 0 up. Wales utterly dejected. The referee didn't blow the whistle. It's 2 0. It's centre, and it's actually a slip from one of the Qatari players. A through in goal. And it's going to be Dia who gives Senegal their first goal of the World Cup. In swinging into the near post. Oh my word, it's a superb goal. It is absolutely wonderful from Dida who at the near post. It was a superb header to glance it past the keeper. And Senegal a 2-0 up. They've started this second half much quicker than they started the first. Forward, there's a real chance here on this far side for number 17 to try and put it into the box. There is a man in waiting and surely it's going to be... Qatar are going to get the goal at the World Cup Finals and they want the ball immediately off of Mendy who has got no interest in getting this clear but it is number nine who gets the goal for Qatar from in the World Cup Finals. It's the substitute as well, it's Mohamed Mantari with a header into the back of the net and he eggs up the crowd. Could Senegal are storming forward though trying to weave his way through and now back on the ball. This time into the centre, surely a shot and yet a goal. It will be a goal for Senegal to put this game to bed. They have weathered the storm of Qatar and yet again it's a substitute. It's Bamba Dieng who gets the goal. It was a wonderful little bit of individual flair from the midfielder. He was able to weave his way through about three or four Qatari players. Here come Ecuador trying to get through. That's a poor pass. Here's a real shot for distance and it is a goal. Five minutes in and it's Cody Gakpo. The new brightest young Dutch sensation. And he's continuing to have quite the World Cup. Two, two and two. And it's taken Holland five minutes to breach the Ecuadorian defense. Estrada now's a good chance. It's Estepinian. Estepinian with a save. And it's poked in. By Inter Valencia. Flag has stayed down, and Inter Valencia has his third goal of the tournament already. Ecuador level. Now Australia coming forward. Good win on the far side. His cross is deflected up in the air. Oh, and it's gone in. Duke with a goal. Mitchell Duke for Australia. Now it was a quick ball forward. Duke got the touch in the middle, and then it was Irvine's ball out towards Goodwin. And look at the space that Duke made up in the middle. Good run, Matty Cash runs it back, Cash, Lewandowski, oh, how did he miss that? He's kept it alive though, another chance, hammered in, Zelinski scores, Poland have the lead. It's, and it's another goal. Oh, a mistake from Saudi Arabia, and Poland have a second goal. Finally, Robert Lewandowski has his moment. Back into space, he's able to find Mbappe on this near side, almost quickly into the Danish penalty area. Back to Hernandez, Hernandez with the back to Mbappe, and Mbappe gets the goal for France. It was a quick, sizzling counter-attack. Eriksen raises his left hand into the air, takes the corner. It's going to go in, and it's going to go in properly. And this time, the Danes are back on top, and it's Christensen with the goal, headed into the back of the net. Denmark are back on level terms and it's taken them five minutes or so for Komen. Komen with a real chance here, gets it into the box, doesn't quite get it into the box. Griezmann's going to have to recollect. He gets it into the box, the back post for Mbappe who gets the goal. Second goal of the game in 85 minutes. It looks like he's won it for France. And forward is Palacios. Chance here for Di Maria on the far side if he can work across. He's gone to Messi, centre of the field, strikes it in the foot in, and Lionel Messi has got Argentina ahead. A goal out of a little bit of nothing, but from 20 yards out, the left-footed strike from the little magician has given Argentina the lead on 63 minutes. And hurry him up, he does take, he goes short to Messi. And here's Palacios, jinky and driving, it's 2-0, a curling shot. And Argentina have doubled their lead. 
the game is dead and buried. Enzo Fernandez, it was with the shot. Next Forced the other one to throw the kitchen sink at the last 10 minutes. Now Shajeda is on the ball onto Fuller. Fuller, surely he's going to take a shot. It's in! And he gets the goal for Costa Rica against the run of play. It is Fuller and the substitute stream onto the pitch. They have won the game almost certainly now. And at least they've created a very entertaining last 10 minutes of football. It Free kick and swinger. Goal! Will this one count? Will it count? It looks like for the moment it's Sabiri's goal. Here comes Morocco. Oh my goodness, they've just scored a second. That's going to see all three points for the Moroccans. Unbelievable. Belgium nil, Morocco two. They're going to get their first win in the World Cup since 1998. What a goal for Morocco. Pulled down by Kyle Lahren, and here comes Canada the other direction, right of the penalty area, and a ball set in, and it's headed in! And there is the moment that Canada has been waited for. It is Davies who has scored the first ever goal at a FIFA World Cup for Canada. Incredible start. Less than two minutes in, Davies is headed at home, past Lavakovic, and Canada with a moment of history. There's it, Brozovic, 30 yards from goal against the defense of Astakio, slid in towards the six yard box and a shot from a tough angle goes in from Andre Kramaric and this one should count. Croatia find the equalizer. Gets it back on a quick one two from Kramaric, Juranovic is up the middle, good tackle on a slide by Kamal Miller, ball still loose, edge of the area, shot comes in, and it goes in from Marco Lavaya, and Croatia has turned this around. Croatia from behind has taken the lead in the last couple of minutes of the first half, Marco Lavaya finds the goal. Perisic is on the end of it, Perisic. Left of the penalty area, ball into the back post, settled down and shot towards goal and it's in. That's the third goal for Croatia and it is Kramaric with his second. And that might just be it for Canada's stay in this World Cup. Croatia has defended it away and cleared it away and now might be on a counter and they absolutely are. Mislav Orsic, it's a two on O. Orsic in the area, plays it across with a wide open net. It's thrown into the roof by Lavro Meyer to make it 4-1 Croatia. Three with Alba. Alba plays it in. Morata! Spain hit the front. Alvaro Morata with his second goal at this World Cup. And Germany are really on a knife edge now. Preserve for Spain trying to preserve this lead. Germany still trying to work here. Sané. Nice flick. It's Nico Fulkrad! Hey, Germany are level! The gamble pays off. Nicholas Fulkrad with a final goal for Germany. From the near flag. It's swung in, tied to the back post, turned in! It is turned in, and the opening goal belongs to Cameroon. Jean-Charles Castelletto has the goal, his first international goal. It deflected right to him at the back post, and Cameroon are up 1-0. Lost it up right to the middle, and it's headed on and headed in! And it's Strahinja Pavlovic, the 21-year-old that plays in Austria, has the goal, Serbia with an equalizer. Right at the end of the first half, Pavlovic has gotten his head to it. Kolo, Cameroon unable to clear, Milinkovic Savic feeds it to the right, Zivkovic edge of the area, on his left foot, back to Milinkovic Savic who shoots and scores! It's Milinkovic Savic who has scored for Serbia and they've got the lead! Two goals in the blink of an eye, and this one from Sergei Milinkovic Savic with a left footed strike. He's beaten the Cameroon keeper on his near post. Has broken kindly for Serbia. Mitrovic is on the ball, cutting right up the middle and driving towards the penalty area. Lays it off left, Kostic back to the top of the box. Milinkovic Savic laid it off right. Milinkovic cuts it back to the front. Mitrovic is there, and he scores! 
tick tack goal and Serbia are ahead 3-1 Mitrovic has another is forward by Castelletto Abubakar might have been offside flag has stayed down for now he's in he's chipped it in oh what a fine finish but the flag is surely up on Abubakar the captain and it is and they've given the goal they have given the goal back to Vincent Abubakar push forward and once again it looks just about offside Abubakar with it right side of the box squares it back and they score an equalizing goal if it stands up for Chupa Moting. that also looked offside as of now Cameroon celebrating Abubakar who scored the last goal this time centering it and Chupa Moting finishing it the Ghana free kick then which Jordan Ayu will take it comes right footed. He run into the danger zone. It's been oh, it's been put in. Salisu was there. Korea couldn't deal with the cross. And the number four for Ghana has put them in front. Really great ball in from Jordan Ayu. So Ayu, his right footed cross. Oh and Kudus! It's two for Ghana. Another brilliant ball in from Jordan Ayu. Flight from the free kick. And Kudus has got the second for them. Been robbed on this near side, crossed in, oh and a chance, and a goal, Lee's cross, Cho was there, and Korea are back in, first touch for the substitute and he scored, Korea are back in the game, it's 2-1, lovely header on the edge of the six yard box, game on again, this left hand side with Song Yi Min, and he's played in, the left back, Huang, and oh and Cho, it's 2-2, two, -two. two in two minutes, for Korea, and Cho again has got the goal, it is Bedlam here. Korea have come from two down to make it 2 2. We've got half an hour or so to play. So then on the left hand side for Ghana. Crossing towards Williams. Oh, he's completely missed it. And Kodus! It's free for Ghana. They are back in front. It only took five minutes. Inaki Williams missed from the Mensa cross. Completely air kicked it. But it followed to Kodus. And he's got his second of the game and Ghana's third. That's right. It's a really good move. It's a chance. And it's a goal! And finally, Brazil have one! Casemiro on the finishing end of a flowing Brazilian move! Godin out, crossed in, oh Ronaldo's in there, and did he get a touch? It's in the back of the net, and Cristiano Ronaldo has come up trumps again for Portugal. 1-0, 53 minutes played, all the Uruguayan defenders stopped, they lost track of him. And a lovely work goal from Portugal has got them ahead through their talisman. Anti from the spot for Manchester United, can he do it for his national team? Waiting for the referee's whistle. It's Bruno Fernandes for Portugal. Dances up to the ball and scores. 2-0. Fernandes gets a second. And Portugal are on their way to the round of 16 in this World Cup. Bru Good shot here from there. That's got three minutes out of the box. Goal! And that is how you do it for the Netherlands. It was taken brilliantly. Goal for Gaiap as well. The number eight for the Netherlands straight in. Makes it 1-0. After 26 minutes of plays, the Qataris have their head in their hands. And he find a way. No, he can't. Sends it in high. It's headed off. Into the goal. And it is in. Now it's in. Ricocheted off the back of the 21 of De Jong, getting the goal at the end after it bounced off from Depay. And Blink getting in there as well. It's Netherlands 2, Qatar 0 and 4. Ismail Assar will take the spot kick that he won. Strides confidently up to the ball and sends the goalkeeper the wrong way. And Senegal are into the lead in a must-win game. One for Ecuador then, just gone an hour. In it comes, hit flicked on. Oh, and Caicedo, round the back, completely unmarked, and Ecuador are level. They are not done in this tie. Moises Caicedo has got them level on 67 minutes, and the Senegal players look to the heavens because, well, he just got, he got, they left him free at the back post. Good pick it from Senegal. Oh, and Koulibaly, the captain, has come up trumps. Ecuador were level for two minutes. And Koulibaly was there off the free kick to tap in the rebound. Senegal are not out of this. It is 2-1.
with 20 minutes to play. And he could have just sent his side through. Marcus Rashford goes for goal! Bullseye! Well, that's how you liven up a game. What an absolute beautiful free kick from Marcus Rashford. His second of the tournament. 1-0 England. And England have the lead. Now they want more. Harry Kane, across the face of goal, Foden! Two in quick succession! The first of what will surely be many World Cup goals for Phil Foden! Rashford's in, into the penalty area, still Marcus Rashford, goes for goal! It's three! Two for Rashford, and Wales' his first World Cup in over 60 years will indeed be a short stay. They're going home. England on their way to top in the group. Lays it off to the near touchline for Robinson. Squared back for Adams again. Lifted right for McKinney. Now McKinney lifts it up into the penalty area. Dest is there to head it forward and Pulisic's there to put it in! The United States have scored! Christian Pulisic has knotted it home! And the United States have the goal that's put them into an advancing position at this World Cup! Delirium for the Stars and Stripes. An important goal that could see them to the round of 16. Now, stops, wants a free kick, not going to get it. Tunisia haven't stopped. Here's Kazri. Chance to run at defenders again. He's wiggled away from a couple. And Kazri has put Tunisia in the lead. And that one will stand. He skipped away from French defenders. And Tunisia lead. This is a big goal in this group, potentially. We've still are starting to pile up from Australia, and still they might get more. Duke slotted it ahead from McGree, and then he sent it up the middle to Leckie, one-on-one. -on -one. Leckie, a cut, top of the box, into the area, left-footed shot, and he scored! Matthew Leckie has put Australia ahead, right on the stroke of an hour. And the Socceroos soar to the lead. And what an important goal that might just be for Matthew Leckie. Near side. Plenty in waiting in the area. Ball comes into the box and it's going to be pulled back and it's going to be in. And it's going to be McAllister who gets the goal for Argentina that sees them perhaps into the round of 16 of the World Cup. It was a P-roller. It has to be said. The number 24, Fernandez. Fernandez going through. Out wide. Back to Alvarez, who's got the goal into the top right hand corner. Argentina are two goals up. And now Poland, desperate. They know that as it stands, they're going to the second tie break. Third corner, near post flick. Oh, it's been turned in. Montez's near post flick was touched in by Henry Martin. Mexico in front! What a start to the second half in both games! Mexico free kick. Here's Luis Chavez. He'll go for goal. Oh, bullseye! Oh, what an absolute rocket from Luis Chavez! 2-0 Mexico! The one, two. It's Al Dal Sari. Salem Al Sari. It's a nice one, too. It's Al Dal Sari! Al Dal Sari has scored! Saudi Arabia have a goal! Mexico are out of the World Cup! Goalkeeper Borjan. Borjan here rushing out to this one. It looks like he's actually been dispossessed. Here's Ziyech with a shot over the head of the keeper and through for a goal. Hakim Ziyech puts Morocco into the lead against Canada and now they've got one foot in the round of 16. Got the beating of the defenders, shoots a near post, gets the goal, is going to see Morocco go 2-0 up against Canada and with the news that it's still 0-0 between Croatia and Belgium, the seven points here that they're going to take themselves to Morocco, it means that they are going to get through this group and at the now have a turn to attack. The cross is going to come in by the looks of it on this far side. It's gone in and it's snuck in at the near post. And I'm afraid to say it looks like it's come off of the boot of a Moroccan defender. And I think that Moroccan defender might well be Agued. 
the ball came in from the near post. It was off the boot of the number three who did very, very well, but just on the near post. It was Aguard who's got a boot to it and it sneaks in. As far as Williams, Aspley Quetta with a chance to cross and does so. Morata, goal. Spain lead on 11 minutes and it's that man again. Three and three for Alvaro Morata. Clip there as he cleared. A little bit of a, a grimace. Chance for a Japan shot. Oh, it's in. It's in. Japan on level. Out of nothing. And the substitute has got the goal. Ritsu Doan. Well, well, well. We said they needed to come out in the second half and do something, and they have. Chance here again for Japan. Here's Doan inside the penalty area. Skipping away from Balde. Crossed in. Oh, it was two at the back post. The ball has ended up in the net. Japan have scored, but I believe it was out. No, they're saying goal. No, they're not. Referee now has gone back. Tanaka ended up putting it in. Goal. VAR has said goal. Unbelievable. Japan will be in front through Tanaka, who now gets to celebrate. Comes to Germany. Musiala moving with speed up the near wing. Musiala looks for options right and left. Goes left, round left of the penalty area. Cross in. Header on. Header in. It is the opening goal for Germany in the 10th minute. Serge Gnabry. An important goal for Germany. They go 1-0 up. Costa Rica moving forward. Oh, nice feed up the middle. Fuller, right side of the penalty area. Chips it back. Header right on save made. Rebound loose. They score! Oh, my gracious! It's turned in by Yeltsin Tejeda. Incredibly, Costa Rica have drawn level. That is impossible. It's 1-1. It's absolutely amazing. Campbell from the left channel on a free kick. Delivers it left footed to the back post. It's headed on. Duarte is in there. Vargas in there. Norrie Kimi missed. They score! Oh my gracious! Can you believe it? Costa Rica has the lead! This is impossible! This is dreamland! Neuer came and missed. Duarte and Vargas were in the vicinity. Hard to tell who got the final touch. It might be an own goal even. Costa Rica lead Germany. Taken by Sané, drills it in. It pinballs around. Costa Rica unable to clear. It's headed up the middle. Wide open. Havertz, he chips it in. Germany back level. Germany are back level. Havertz, was he onside? At least for now, it seems that he was. And the Costa Rica fantasy may well be over. It is an instant response. Gnabry has it on the near right side, right of the penalty area. Cross comes in and got through traffic to Havertz on the back post and he scores! Germany have retaken the lead. It is 3-2. Is there possibly a German miracle left? I don't know how it got through the traffic. Straight away is Kimmich. He's chipped it in. It's chested down and there is Fulkrug to put it home. It's a great play by Sané to lay it across. Full Krug all by himself. It's 4-2. This time a floated ball downfield. He's looking for the ever-imposing winger who looks to play it back. And he does find someone. And they find the net. Portugal very, very early on in this game. And it's Horta. It was cut inside. It was squared. And it was never ever going to miss and South Korea have been caught short at the back so early on into this game five minutes in and it's Portugal one South Korea nil too often human son looks like he's going to take it no he doesn't they fake the corner into the near post eventually he's going to fall for Kim and it does the number 19 for South Korea is going to put them back into the game it was such an awkward moment for him but he's managed to turn it over now we're level once more Portugal. Son, able to get past one almost. He's not quite able to do so. He's got support. He has got support. The shot comes in. It's a goal. And as long as the flag stays down, South Korea are going to progress into the World Cup round of 16. And the substitutes stream onto the pitch. And I don't quite think you'll see a World Cup like this in terms of the group stages for a very long time yet. Five minutes to play. South Korea get a goal that might just see them into the World Cup and knockout stages. Being, oh, that's a big mistake. They had to clear the lines. It's Luis Suarez! And then it's headed in! 
Keeper tried to get there, but the Arisketa came to head it in, and Uruguay have a vital goal. Come through again. Chance now, Suarez chips it. The Arisketa! Oh, what a finish! 2-0 Uruguay! The first was scrappy, the second was sublime. Far side, the right. Chase on for the number two into the area and then Greece. Oh my word, it's a goal for Cameroon! It's a Bubakar! And he takes his shirt off and runs off in celebration. Cameroon have won the game. It's taken them 92 minutes to get ahead of Brazil. And now, if there's a result between Serbia and Switzerland, Cameroon are through in the World Cup. Couldn't get a shot off. Lays it off right for a shot, and that's put in. Shared in Shakiri. What a goal! He has lashed that in, and Switzerland have the opening goal in the 20th minute. And what a goal it is! It's taken away by Serbia, and Serbia have four men moving forward. Tadic, top left corner of the penalty area. A ball in, and a good header, and it's in. It's Mitrovic, an equalizer for Serbia. What a tremendous counter-attack, and Serbia have equalized. The magical Mitrovic. Serbia get on the ball right away. It's rolled towards the penalty area, and a shot taken and put in by Vlavic, and Serbia have the lead. That's come from nothing, and Serbia have turned it around here in the first half. What a turnaround. Moving forward is Shakiri on the right wing side. Now Sal edge of the area. Pushed it back to the right center. Ball comes in tight and put in by Mbolo. Switzerland are level. Oh my goodness gracious, what a game we have right here. Brill Mbolo has punched it in from in tight. Switzerland claw back, it's 2-2. And Mbolo can celebrate this one. Gonna get to it, right side of the penalty area. Mbolo dropping it off, Shakiri's on it, on his left foot, chips it in, dangerous position. It's split back for a shot and it's turned in! And Switzerland have the lead! What an incredible match this is turning out to be. Not even three minutes into the second half, Switzerland have scored to go up 3-2. Freuler has the goal. And they could be going forward now. Memphis Depay lays it off on the near side for Dumfries. Cuts it back, Depay gets it back and his shot's in. And the Netherlands have the opening goal in the 10th minute. Memphis Depay has made it one nothing Netherlands. Header away by Ake, it's still alive here for the United States. Pulisic, right side of the area, cuts it back, it deflects in! It deflects in! The United States have scored! Pulisic with a cutback, it's deflected in, maybe off Haji Wright. Nonetheless, the U.S. have scored, they're back in the game! A quarter of an hour to go, it's 2-1! Depay, left side of the box. Adams watching him every step of the way. Cut back for Dion. Given to Blint. Left of the area. Cross in on a free swing and a goal for Dumfries. He was unmarked on the far post. It's 3 1. Brought back down into play. Messi back with the ball as well. Still in the same position. Sends it back out. Sends it into the center box as well. Got opportunity to score. Messi got the ball. Messi goes for it. Messi scores! In his 1,000th game in senior football, he takes Argentina 1-0 up in the 34th minute with a spectacular goal. Oh, we've got a Ryan down the goal. Ryan steps out of his box, and it's a goal for Argentina. It's 2-0. Ryan was out. It was an open goal, and it is a goal for Alvarez, who takes Argentina 2-0 up. We have a shot on goal, Australia seem to find some pace as well, long shot, Mike just got it in ass. what a shot from Australia, and it's a goal, that surprised everybody, even Martinez, the goalkeeper, thought he was going wide, it ricocheted down, it's Argentina 2, Australia 1. Pokes it back left, picked up by Upa Makano, slid towards Giroud, who takes the shot and scores! There is the opening goal, and it's a historic one for Olivier Giroud, who becomes the all-time goal-scoring leader in France history.
halfway line for Giroux. France are on a counter three on three. Far side, it's Dembele with it. Sliding it all the way across. Mbappe, top of the box. Wait, shoots and scores! What a goal! Oh my gracious! Oh, Kylian Mbappe! 2-0 France! And that is about as classy of a finish as you'll see. Is that the best player in the world? It might just be. For France, as we cross over past the 90 minutes, given to Mbappe, his shot, oh my goodness! Mbappe again has scored! That's two for Mbappe today. That's three for France. This kid is amazing! The sensational Kylian Mbappe! Here's the whistle. A run, another hesitation, and this time he rolls it in. Lloris barely moved. Lewandowski's got another goal. If this is his last World Cup game of his career, he has scored a goal in it. For the first ever meeting between these two nations, came with a chance. Ball forward towards Bellingham, running into the penalty area. It's cut back to Henderson, and England take the lead. Jordan Henderson has put them in front. A lovely ball from Harry Kane got Bellingham clear, and it was easy meet for Jordan Henderson. And Bellingham was there to, to nip in and chance for England to break. He's got a couple to his left, Bellingham. He's still running, goes over the halfway line. He's played it onto Shaw, who plays it on a plate for Harry Kane into the penalty area. Harry Kane 2 0. England double their lead before the break, and the captain has finally got his World Cup goal. Harry Kane has doubled England's lead. What another. A, a great England break from a Senegal attack. Finds Harry Kane, got Bellingham running ahead of him. Gets tripped, but Karen, the ball breaks to Foden, who breaks through. Gets away from two, gets across him. Saka with the flick, and England are free up. But Kaya Saka has got another World Cup goal, and Phil Foden has got another World Cup assist, and England are in cruise mode here. 56 minutes played, a lovely break forward from England, and Bakaya Saka was there to finish it off. For England free, Senegal nil. Cross. It's ball. It's fizzing around. It's in. Japan have scored. Dies in Maeda. They're not scoreless in a World Cup first half anymore. The man from Glasgow Celtic, Dies in Maeda, has given Japan the lead on the stroke of halftime. You had to say that had somewhat been coming. Cross comes in, and the header! It's in! It is a Croatian equalizer, Ivan Perisic! Perisic with a lovely header to pull Croatia level! Put Croatia into the quarterfinals with one kick, and he does! Pasalic scores with ease, and Croatia are heading back to the quarterfinals of the World Cup! Gives it to Casemiro, a return to Rafinha, right side of the penalty area. Rafinha cutting into the box, across to the middle, Neymar missed it. Comes to the back post, Vinicius Jr. settles and scores! Vinicius Jr. has the opening goal! Brazil score it in less than seven minutes! In the 13th minute to try to make it an early 2-0 lead for Brazil. Referee's whistle. The run up for Neymar, a hesitation, a slow run up, and eventually he buries it. In the bottom right corner, 2-0 Brazil. In a way by South Korea, right on the edge of the D. Boy juggling it and somehow keeping it down is Richarlison. Now it's cut to the middle, Richarlison's in, he scores! Oh my gosh, what a goal! 3-0 Brazil, it's Richarlison. It's three in less than a half hour. Neymar on the left wing side. Feeding it further to the left, Anisius Jr. into the penalty area, to the edge of the six yard box, chips it back to the middle, driven towards going in by Lucas Pacata. 4 0 Brazil. They are flying, roaring, and letting everyone know that they are still the favorites in this World Cup. Four goals in just over a half hour. Lucas Pacata gets this one. Hicks swept in, left footed, defensive header away, straight away. Long volley, that is in. Oh, what a goal. South Korea had their first goal of the night, and it's a tremendous goal. Pike Sung Ho. 
a deep breath. It is that trap, Akimi. It's coolly slotted down the middle. The Atlas Lions roar to the quarterfinals of the World Cup for the first time ever. They've had all game long. They're able to find the number 25 on this far side. Now Jao Felix looks to go through to Ramos. Ramos is able to find Bernardo Silva. I think this is. He takes a shot. It's another goal. It's not Bernardo Silva. In fact, it's Guerrero. Rafael Guerrero with the goal for Portugal makes it four. Maybe a chance though for Switzerland. The ball is into the box, into a very nice area. The back post is turned in. And it will count by the looks of things. Just on side was the number five of Akanji. At the back post, he taps it home. And that's one of the four that's required of them. Bernardo Silva looks to go forward. He's going to find Shao Felix, who might be offside. Ramos chips it over the keeper and through for a goal. It's a hat trick. He does two guns to celebrate out to the corner flag. Chips it cheekily over the head of Sommers. And a hat-trick hero for Portugal. 5-1. It's now they come forward in Portugal. A chance for a shot that comes in. Oh, my word. It's a goal. And it's Leao with an absolutely wonderful strike into the bottom right-hand corner. And the goalkeeper Summit gave up on that one. Because that's Brazil got an open goal opportunity. They're running with their balls to play by the goalkeeper. And Brazil score! Neymar gets the goal! He was looking for all game long. Right round the outside of the defenders. Right round the outside of the goalkeeper. It was an open goal. And listen to the Brazilians cheer. Croatia despair, Brazil cheer, Brazil cheer. It's 1-0 at the end of the first half of extra time. Yeah, hasn't worked out the way they want. Maybe this will go 1-1 one, one after all. It's 1-1 one on one with the goalkeeper. Sends out wide, sets in, and it's 1-1. One, one. Croatia stay in it. 26 minutes into extra time. Croatia equalised. The dream was dead. It's back! If he misses, they're out of the World Cup and Croatia go through. And it's missed it! It's rebounded! He hit the post! It goes back! The keeper went the wrong way! It doesn't matter! Croatia go through to the semi-finals! Cuts to the inside and now drops it for Messi and Messi progresses forward. 30 yards from goal, Lionel Messi. Great ball through, Molina's in with a shot! Go! Argentina lead! Molina has the goal. Messi with a tremendous ball through. 1-0 Argentina in this quarterfinal in the 35th minute. Referee's whistle. Messi slow run up, left footed strike, it's a goal. Messi, 2-0 Argentina. 73rd minute. And Argentina's up by two. Calm, cool, and collected from Lionel Messi. Looking for options. Feeds it ahead. Berghaus ball in. Header go! And the Netherlands might not be done yet. Game on, says Vout Veghorst. It's 2-1 with just about the last kick of the ball. Who will it be? Whistle blows. Miners rolls it in low and slow, and it's shot in! Oh my god! Oh my god! They've tied it! It's an equalizer! In the wildest of ways! How did they dream that up? Miners rolled it in low and slow! It was located and placed in by Veghorst against Knopper. Martinez scores! Argentina to the semifinals of the World Cup! They finally slam the door shut and finish the deal! Turn over to the far left side. Ball comes in towards the penalty area and it's into the net! Oh, the keeper came and missed! And Morocco lead! 
That has ended up in the back of the net in a strange way. In the series, is taking. Congratulations and celebrating the goal. It's 1 0 Morocco. And pop it. Down the right side for Dembele. Dembele inside the penalty area. Dembele still with it. Here's Griezmann. Griezmann. And Chouameni. Chouameni. Long shot. Score! What a goal! Aurelia Chouameni! In the 17th minute. England nil. France won. And the French are on top. To an unlikely goal source. Kane will now back up, staring right at his Tottenham teammate Hugo Lloris. Captain versus captain. Here comes Kane. He shoots. He scores. Big Daddy Harry Kane, his 53rd goal for England. That ties Wayne Rooney for first all time in England shirt. England won. France won. 54th minute. Hernandez out wide to left for Griezmann. Griezmann he'll try again. Giroud's header. Go! Go for France. 78th minute. Olivier Giroud has just given the defending world champions the lead. It's England one, France two. Immediate redemption for Olivier Giroud. So it's Messi in the 34th minute to try to give Argentina the lead, and he does! He's blasted it in! 1-0 Argentina in the World Cup semifinal. Lionel Messi with his fifth goal of this World Cup and the 11th of his career. All towards the box. That was blocked away. Argentina are out with it. Messi touched it forward for Alvarez. Julian Alvarez has a bunch of space, and he's got support with Molina. Alvarez into the area. It deflects to him, and he scored! Julian Alvarez with a terrific goal! 2-0 Argentina! Croatia could not stop the Argentina number nine. Julian Alvarez at age 22. He might be the future for this Argentina squad. The future is now, it's 2-0. Alvarez inside him, three Croatian defenders back. Messi with a sharp pirouette. Messi to the end line, cut it back. Alvarez is there and he scores! Julian Alvarez has done it again and that's three for Argentina. And they should be well on their way to the World Cup final now. Side of the penalty area, cuts back to Mbappe. Mbappe takes the shot on the third occasion. He tries to shoot once more. It's saved. Hernandez now takes the shot and Hernandez scores. I told you he was going to be an influence on this game. And turns out I was bang correct. He was bang on target at the far post. Able to put the ball into the back of the net. And France get the first goal. There over two of many. Gets the ball in the end. Two of many through to Fafana. Fafana trying to get this ball through potentially for Mbappe he does find Mbappe in the end he's got Thuram here inside of the penalty area Thuram looks to beat his man and then take a shot onto Kylian Mbappe Kylian Mbappe still going here past two past three and in the end of the four pose it's a goal for France and now they are going to the World Cup final almost certainly 12 minutes for Morocco to find yet another goal and they know that that has potentially decided it it's in by Luka Modric headed back up to Perisic and Perisic gets the goal past Bono. He reels off in celebration as well as it looks like Croatia have now got almost one hand in the early stage of this game on that bronze medal place. Morocco's turn to apply a little bit of pressure. One arm raised in the air by the free kick taker into the box. He's headed away by the first man and then into Dari and Dari's going to score. Number 20 for Morocco is going to level the game. And now there's a little bit of a chance that Morocco may become the first African nation to take third place at the FIFA World Cup. But still plenty of time to go and plenty of work to do, of course. Nation number two takes a touch onto his left foot back to the number seven here who slides in. It's cleared away by Morocco only as far as a Croatian shirt. Now Croatia trying to squirm their way back into the box, into the near post and curled around Bono. And it's going to be number 18, it's Orisic, who takes the goal for Croatia off of the far post it was in the end. A diving Bono couldn't quite get to it, maybe, just maybe his look this tournament has run out. In his career, more than anybody else, he runs up and scores here to put Argentina ahead of France in the World Cup final. Lionel Messi does it from the spot. 
Argentina lead at the midway point of the first half. And Alvarez lays it ahead. Messi is driving off the right flank in space. He throws it across and they score! Di Maria! 2-0 to Argentina! And how Di Maria doubles Argentina's lead! Kylian Mbappe, who has his fingerprints all over the World Cup trophy from four years ago. Referee's whistle. Shot by Mbappe is in! France have a lifeline! Game on in the World Cup final with 10 minutes to go! Tackle by Kingsley Coman. Kingsley Coman to the middle for Rabio. Rabio lifts it left, headed down by Mbappe, he gets it back to Rabio, Mbappe scores! Oh my gracious! France, in the blink of an eye, have scored twice and leveled the World Cup final at 2-2! Absolutely amazing! Kylian Mbappe! 2-2! Where has this come from? Gonna get on the ball with Montiel. Far side, halfway line. Lift it up, right side of the area. An option spread to the right by Fernandez and a shot saved by Lloris and the rebound, Messi! Oh, it's cleared off the line or did it go over the line? Is the goal going to be given? I think it is. Yes, it, it was over the line. That is over the line. It was Martinez with the initial shot that Larry saved. Messi on the rebound has just squeezed that in over the line before Koundé could clear it out. Kylian Mbappe for France and possibly the world to try to level it as we cross over into the 118th minute. Mbappe run up, Mbappe strike, Mbappe go! It's 3-3! Three, three. It's impossible! It's insane! It's an Mbappe hat trick in the World Cup final! If he can convert this penalty and give Argentina the World Cup title, Gonzalo Montiel, Shoots and scores! Argentina win the World Cup for the first time since 1986! Argentina are champions of the world! And the little man has won the biggest prize!